And it has been their message since yesterday in M where they have been insisting that the first term of the Jubilee government was very okay. And that was the coming together of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto. But they are insisting that they cannot take credit, neither can they associate themselves with whatever has happened in the second term that is between 2017 or rather 2018 until now when most of the prized possessions and prized goods that the commodities that we need in our houses be it unga be it cooking oil have all shot up insisting that even for the first time the price of salt has gone up so they are saying that they are disassociating themselves with uh, president uhuru kenyatta and they are saying that immediately he got a new wife in the name of uh, raila odinga he made him and actually used the word appointed him as the deputy president then that is where things started going haywire be it Kindiki be the deputy president himself, William Ruto, who has said categorically calling on the people of Tarakanidi to support him and his, and his old team. He is saying that if he is not officially in government and the price of uh, Unga is at 200, then you should be expecting that if Raila Odinga gets into government, then there is a probability that the price of Unga will go as far as 500 shillings. So in the rallying call for the people of the Rakanidi to support the Kenya Kwanzaa team, they have insisted that they have worked together. Raila Odinga uh, has not been there when they were building this government or when they were making this government. So he does not deserve the honor and support that they get from this region. Another point, Olive, that has come out strongly is that in the Raka, they have decided to have about three stops. Why is this? They started in Mokodima, then came all the way to Marimanti, and they have gone to another point yet in the Raka. And the reason being is that remember that uh, Kindiki was one of those that was uh, touted as a contender for the deputy president position within the Kenya Kwanzaa team. So they had to go and explain why he did not get that position and why he decided to stay back within the fold and yet support deputy president William Ruto, who Kindiki himself had described as a friend of over 20 years. So they have tried uh, Rigadi Gashagwa himself taking about five minutes of his speech saying how the race was between him and Kindiki and why uh, Deputy President William Ruto had to choose him, saying that one of the things was that he is older than Kindiki, so he asked Kindiki to give him that opportunity to lead. He was, uh, then they have said that they will give Kindiki a bigger job should they take government. So it was one of those issues that came out very strongly in the Raka. Right now they will be moving into Chuka, then going into Nidhi because this county has three constituencies and they will have to go through all of them today. So, in also finishing uh, Olive is that Deputy President William Ruto so has Kindiki. They have insisted that there is a possibility that they have a deal that immediately uh, Deputy President William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa finish. Then they will endorse Kindiki so that they make sure that this region is uh, is occupied and also remains under their guard. So is it just a political statement that has been made to calm the waters in that region where he comes from? Well, it can only be a question of wait and see. So today they have three other stops before they make one major rally in Chuka town, a place that is supported by the current governor, Mudomi Njuki. But we are staying here and we'll be keeping tabs. Tomorrow is Meru, then they move into Isiolo. Olive. All right, thank you very much, Kennedy Muravi. We wait to see what else will be said.